Hi, good morning. I am participating in the Three Rivers Challenge, Pantry Challenge, uh, for the month of January, and then hopefully for February. Now, her rules are for herself that she will not go to the store at all for anything in January and February. She wants to eat from her pantry. She does live on a homestead. They have chickens, they have beef, they've got, you know, other outside sources. I happen to live in a city. I do not. So I have my own little set of rules. So for me, my goal is $20 for the month for fresh vegetables, milk, and eggs, um, and maybe bread if we need it. But $20 is what I have to spend on the things that we will consume outside of what we have in our pantries and freezers right now. But I also don't want to empty out my pantries. I want to rotate them, but not empty them out. Um, this way the prices fluctuate. I want to make sure that if something is a good price that I am still stocking it into my pantry. So um, I will keep building off the sales, but if it's not on sale, I'm not buying it for my pantry. If that's something that my pantry would normally need, I'm also not buying it, all right? Um, and I'm gonna keep track of, of what I'm spending. So my goals during this month, and hopefully then into February also, are to find the gaps in my pantry. You know, what do we run out of? Okay, well, that's something I need to make more of. Well, what didn't we eat at all? Well, maybe that I need to have some on him, but I don't need maybe as much as I do. You know, where can I allocate my resources better? I want to use up the odds and ends in my freezer, okay? I was going through my upstairs freezer today and looking for some stuff to make chicken broth, and um, I found like a half a bag of chicken nuggets, a uh, half a peg of this, uh, two or three fish sticks. You know, there's just all those bits and pieces that are lost in the freezer that aren't getting used. I want to use them up in the next uh, two months to get all that stuff deep cleaned and, and get some of my freezer space um, reorganized. I want to save some money, okay? My normal grocery budget is $220 uh, twice a month, so $440 is my budget. Um, sometimes we do, we do, I say 440 is my normal budget, but every once in a while, um, we will add, add into that budget and, um, stock up more on meats or whatever that happen to be on sale or that, you know, that, that we need that I can't get on the regular budget. But I really do try to stay to that. I want to save, you know, I want to save some money. I said that, um, I also want to see how long can I eat from my current freezer? You know, so the new things I'm buying to restock my freezer, fridges and pantry, well, freezers and pantry, I am keeping separate and not using for the next two months, okay? So, like, um, yesterday, um, our local grocery store had a good meat sale, all right? They had chicken for one sixty-eight a pound, uh, boneless chicken, they had deli ham for $1.99 a pound, um, roast for two eighty-eight a pound, I believe, um... What else? Oh, and ground beef was two ninety nine. Well, one was two ninety nine, one's two eighty eight. Um, but I was able to get that, you know. And that stuff though, because that's a good price. I haven't seen roast, you know, below five bucks for quite a while. So I got four of those. You know, those are wrapped up. They're in the freezer. We'll eat them come March. Um, so I didn't want to like bypass that, but I want to make sure that I'm eating the meat that's currently in the freezer first, of which there seems to be quite a bit. Now I am not limiting my children. Um, on what they spend their own money on. Okay, all of them have jobs, all of them are employed. It's their money. All right, if they want to get themselves a sub, if they want to buy themselves um, Panda Express, they're doing it with their own money, not with mine. Um, that being said, most of my menu, and you saw my menu planning video, is mainly I plan dinners um, because four of us do eat school lunch. Um, so, we don't have a whole lot of lunch food in our budget. Uh, mainly that's coming off of um, leftovers and stuff at the husband's home. But we also, on days that we are home, we do have things available for lunch. So this week, <laughs> we pretty much stuck to our schedule. Um, on Sunday, we had cheese quesadillas for dinner. Um, Monday, we had a potato soup with cheesy bread and then an apple crisp. I like to do a dessert on a soup day. Um, we did pizza on Tuesday, turkey subs on um Wednesday. Now, on that day, I did spend $1.88 of my $20 for the month to get a head of lettuce um, to go on the sub. So I already had the meat, the cheese, the roll from the freezer. I had tomatoes still, um, but we didn't have any lettuce. So it was a very small head for $1.88, but it's not a sub without lettuce. And I don't really have any growing. 
Now on Thursday. <laughs> Thursday was our first day back to school and back to work for pretty much everyone in our household after winter break. So, um, and we do work in school kitchens, so it, it's an intensive job. And so my husband was a sweetheart, and uh, I didn't ask him. He just did this on his own. He got us Papa John's. Um, it was kind of a surprise. I walked in from work, and I'm like, okay, I've got a plan. I know what I'm getting out of the freezer. I did make it an easy meal for that night. He goes, you don't have to worry about dinner. And I'm like, what? He's like, I ordered pizza. It'll be here at 5.30. So I'm like, okay, well, it's not part of my pantry challenge, but you are the one paying for it. It's not coming out of the food budget. Yeah, okay. Um, and I thank him for it. You know, that was very sweet of him that he thought that, you know, he could help us out by doing that. Um, and then yesterday we had uh, chicken. Um, they were chicken tenders that I had made. So there's like the breast that I cut into chicken strips and had breaded and cheesed and all this stuff. And I had done a bunch before school started and had froze them. And this was the last bag that was in the freezer. And we did mashed potatoes and we did corn because corn seems to be the veggie of choice right now. Mainly because we, I had bought 12 cans of corn uh, a couple weeks ago and half the cans went rolling down the stairs and therefore got dented. <laughs> so we're trying to get that corn um, used up. Um, and then today we are actually having a chicken noodle soup, homemade bread, and a pumpkin pie for dinner. And I've already made a um, banana bread into muffins and bread for breakfast. And um, lunch will be the bits and pieces from the week. And if there's not enough of those bits and pieces, we also have regular lunch food. So in all in all, I think the first week of the pantry challenge has gone pretty well for us. Um, I still have a chunk of my budget left for fresh fruits, veggies, and milk as I need it. And I think this is going to be fun. We'll see how long we can do this. All right, you have a wonderful day. This is what I got this week so far for stocking up. Um, I got 9, 10, 11, 12 cans of chicken noodle soup for 49 cents a can and eight cans of tomato soup for 49 cents a can. Three packages of bacon, which was a rain check I had, so they were $1.99 a piece. And a thing of butter for $2.99. And this is from Hy-Vee. These won't count against my um, $20 that I have allotted for fresh fruits, veggies, and milk for the month. And counting against my um, $20 a month uh, fresh pantry food challenge allotment, this is head of lettuce for $1.88. It is a really small head of lettuce, but we needed it. All right, so um, Hy-Vee had their mega meat sale, and I used this as an opportunity to stock up. Now, due to my pantry challenge, I won't actually be using this meat. I'm going to use what's in my fridge and freezers first, um, but I didn't want to use up and not miss good sales. So I was able to get chuck roast um, for two ninety nine a pound. Um, so I ended up getting just over... 10 pounds of chuck roast and there's four of them in there so that's gonna be four meals i did two pounds of their um deli ham which i have a recipe i'm going to use that in i was able to get ground beef um for $1.99 a pound no $2.88 a pound i'm sorry $2.88 a pound on the ground beef and then i was able to get some more boneless chicken breasts on sale for um $1.68 a pound so I got 10 pounds of, um, it's a little over 10 pounds of the chicken, uh, the boneless chicken. And I'm going to take that boneless chicken and I'm going to turn that into um, canned chicken this weekend. Because the last time I did it, it was delicious and we've actually used a couple cans already. So I'm going to use that chicken and get that canned up. And um, yeah, that's our meat sale. Most of this I'm not going to touch until March. <laughs>